Good morning from the Tiverton Market where today the ice and the snowy wintry conditions have prevented the horses coming but despite that everyone has turned out who normally do here to see the hounds that have come here to greet the children and the families and everyone who's here to have a good time. <laughs> With temperatures reaching well below zero and the snow from the previous week still lingering, Tiverton foxhounds were only able to bring their hounds along for this year's annual Boxing Day meet. Despite this, people still turned out in force to see them. Because of the weather, it's a shame without the horses, especially for the children and the big children like me. They like to see them, but it's fantastic having the hounds running in around so the you know the kiddies can get to smooth them and everything. And it brings people out and you can see even the weather hasn't stopped them. So they've come out, rain sharing, ice snow. Whatever. Yeah, can't keep them down. <laughs> <laughs> Members of the Tiverton Fox and Staghounds were determined to brave the code as they knew people of Tiverton would be there to lend their support. But we, we made an effort, we wanted to come in on them, certainly on foot, you know, we, it wasn't safe to bring the horses. Horses haven't been out hunting now for probably coming on three weeks, anyway, consistently. So it's hard work, you know, it makes it's hard work for everyone. But, um, no, Boxing Day is a very important day in our hunt calendar, and, and Tiverton always turn out as they have again today. So, uh, yeah, no, yeah, we're very pleased with that. Yeah. The sport here is fantastic. Uh, concerning the weather, it's fantastic the number of people come out. Um, usually, Tiverton has supported us well for the last X number of years, and they've shown their strength again today. Fine, thank you. Tiverton and Honiton MP Neil Parrish was also at the hunt and said the morning showed why the government are planning to get the 2005 Hunting Act repealed. I think it's good, it's lovely to see everybody out enjoying themselves, they're having a drink. Uh, nice to get out when the temperature is 3 degrees instead of minus 10. Um, and it just shows how strong the uh, support for hunting is still. And of course in the House of Commons we are waiting to repeal the Hunting Act. We're not ready yet, uh, but in the future we will do so. Before the hounds were led through Tiverton Town Centre, speeches were made about how difficult it was for hunting in the current conditions and the government's plans to lift the hunting ban. Good morning everyone! Lo lovely to see you all here today. Um, we were determined to, uh, to get ourselves here today. Uh, Despite the frost and the recession, the recession's not meant that we can't afford to keep the horses anymore. It's, it's simply down to the fact that we just can't get them here. Uh, they haven't really been hunting now for nearly three weeks. Um, but we've, we've managed to keep going with the hounds and uh, we'll continue to do so somehow. Uh, I'd like to thank Sean for holding the meet here today. We're always very grateful Sean to welcome us here and I hope you've all, all had a, a, a wonderful Christmas despite this, these awful conditions um, but it's always our intention to keep coming back here on Boxing Day for as many years as we need to and have to to just to re remind you all that we will be hunting and going forward within the law obviously uh, for as many years as it takes and we're always amazed to see so many people here on Boxing Day on a day like this as well. I, I just like to say on behalf of my joint masters that we are very, very grateful to see you all here today and to support the hounds and uh, hope to see you in the new year and would hope to be here next year on horses and maybe hunting on a slightly different basis, which is why We've got Neil Parrish here just behind me, our local MP now elected, and uh, he's just going to have a word with you about the, the, uh, the arrangements going forward, hopefully. And uh, just before Neil says a word, we will just leave the meet in the normal way, walk around the square, and come down through the main street. And uh, 
as a, uh, once again, thank, thanks for turning out and supporting us. It, it, it's, it is very much appreciated. Thank you. Okay, well, it's also great to see you, see you all here. Yes, I got good competition with the hounds. Even worse than the House of Commons, this is. Can I, first of all, apologise on behalf of the coalition government for the weather? Um, can't do a lot about it, but I do think we are going to have a thaw for how long, I don't know. But uh, can I say that it, it thank you very much for your support that you gave me during the election and also all candidates you know, throughout the country and in Devon in, in particular. And can I say to you that we are about to, you know, we can, as far as David Cameron's concerned, bring the bill to repeal the Hunting Act onto the floor of the House whenever we like. Now, what we are doing at the moment is we are doing our arithmetic uh, because we are not going to bring it onto the floor of the House until we can win it. Um, so we are doing that arithmetic. We might have to find one or two compromises or whatever, but not too much, I hope. And then we will bring it onto the floor of the House so that you can go out and hunt because it was a travesty of justice what happened to you during the last governments and I think it's time for us to put it right. But what we will not do is bring that onto the floor of the House and lose it. You would not uh, thank me or anybody else for that. And can I say to you that I hope that within a few days the weather will fall and you'll be going out hunting within the law and enjoying yourselves tremendously and it's great that you're all here today to be able to get together after Christmas. So thank you very much for letting me say a few words. I wish you the hunt here extremely good fortune in the next year and like I said when we've got the arithmetic right we will put it right. Thank you very much. Although seeing the horses and hounds parading through the town on this day is similar from year to year, 2010's Boxing Day meet will certainly stand out from the rest. Lewis Clark for Lose News in Tiverton Town Centre.